Hey YouTubers, Steven here. How's everybody doing? Well, happy Homebrew Wednesday everyone. Um, I know there's not much of a hit on this. Uh, this is a Cascade Bomb that I did with Hop Tea. Uh, pale Ale Extract and uh, almost six ounces of hops in a 45 minute Hop Tea boil. Um, still pretty young, but uh, delicious. Cheers, 17. Okay, so hopefully the wind's not too bad. I did a test video, listened on my phone. It didn't seem too bad. Um, keeping an eye on the skies because we're getting showers and thunder showers coming in. So I want to uh, try and pop off a quick uh, homebrew Wednesday video, up hop update vlog number three. Um, I filmed something earlier um, this week, weekend. I forget which day it was specifically, but I had to put up some new lines of a hop for the hop trellis uh, because they've reached the top of this trellis and I had to put the um, my post over on my deck. Let me show you this clip uh, from the other day and I'll show you how I did the top. All right, so let me show you what I got going on here. So there's my hops over there. The new ports are just like way above the top here so my idea last year I had uh, a post here and a post further up on my railing well this year I decided to mount it on the outside so I can bring this down and do all my work right here on the ground so I've tied my uh, my green garden wire and I'm going to run this up to the roof and then I've already pre tied my vines I don't mind some of the gardening mess in the yard so I've basically just kind of spliced them as I've gone down here to what I figure I need right now I'm gonna run uh, one more vine for every two vines that I have over there because they're not at this kind of angle and distance they're gonna end up intertwining anyways so it's just something to get them all started uh, before they get over here and um, those are the other end of my new ports right there. So, basically now I'm just ready to uh, tip this back up and run my lines and we'll come back. Alright, so I've got the garden wire tied up to the roof up there, up onto the peak. And it comes down to all the lines on the post. And I've brought them over pretty much in succession because since I have to go on the other side of the fence uh, to tie them where I actually have the uh, the eye bolt sticking out further from the fence. So uh, I'll show you what I've done down here. I just basically lined them up uh, and tied it around the fence post, you know, where each string should line up for each of the hops. So the new ports are just going crazy. And there we go, all done. Um, I did try and train that little vine, but there, it's just not long enough yet, but give it another day, uh, it definitely will. And if you see it's laying right underneath the bigger one, I'm hoping maybe in the summer, in the, <laughs> I'm hoping in the sun, it'll uh, straighten out a bit, but rest of them are tied up i have to run another one but um it's getting late supper's almost ready so uh, i'm done doing my hop gardening for tonight um i had to run a few more lines today um right now uh, my plants are growing over 12 inches while the new ports are growing over 12 inches a day um and uh, i'm gonna move the camera and i'm gonna show you the rest of my hop plants and let's go another little sip oh boy yum I love hops okay so here's the cascades they're doing okay in the strawberry plant got some little strawberries happening so the cascades not doing too bad uh, all in all considering I've heard from a few of my friends that um, their cascades are doing about the same or not as well so maybe I was just being a little hard on my cascades 
but uh, they are getting there. Uh, we're, we're just creeping over the top of the fence here with these ones. And uh, this new plant that's down here, uh, once it reaches up to the, the corner of the fence post, I think I'm just going to come let it come back up on the support wire. But uh, the little hot plants are doing well down here on the ground. And yeah, the strings are a little loose. But uh, that way the wind doesn't um, uh, break the plants. And oh my goodness, my pearl plants have taken off. Wow. I get too much light if I take you up there. But uh, pardon me. Let's go this way. Maybe it's not as bright. So my pearl plants this year have actually gone over the fence. Last year, both plants didn't even reach the top, uh, which was rather disappointing. So I'm quite pleased with how they're taking off. The uh, transplant in here is doing fairly well. Um, actually, I'm going to need a string for that one pretty soon. So. Um, I think I know what I'm going to do after I do this video. Let's put up another string. <laughs> and the other pearl plant's doing okay. You know. Um, again, the weight. I think a lot of it has to do with the weight of the new ports. Because, get ready for this. This is just the base. Look at all the green in there. And up, 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 up. And now it's too much light. Let me adjust. All right, there we go. Uh, these new ports are going nuts. Absolutely nuts. Crazy. So yeah, I'm quite stoked with uh, how the new ports are going. Um, pretty impressed. All right, Greg, you mentioned you weren't sure how hops go around or go on the bind when you train them. And this is for anyone really, for that matter, uh, clockwise. So the, here's the string, goes around the back. So as long as you always go to the left, around the back, if I can hold my camera up here, if you go around the back by the left side, you will always train them right clockwise if you as you can see here all right you can see the green goes around the back side and comes back out this side and wraps back around so clockwise spiral oh my finger doesn't do it very well <laughs> righty tighty lefty loosey uh, if you look from the top you'll see that it spirals righty just like you're tightening the bolt All right, and here is the pearl plant in the front yard, which is doing really well. Uh, the middle side has already reached the center of the, or the gutter, and uh, the left plant is almost there. I had to run the strings up to the, up to the roof today, but um, at least it's nice and breezy. And as you can see, we kind of stained our front steps. Um, there's a little, bits and pieces that need to be done I have to pick up another can of paint and uh, some of the lattice still needs to be done especially in front of the plant um, Dar didn't want to get too close her rhododendrons looking good and uh, her flowers this is some of the yard project we were doing it was uh, doing the gardening and she's got the little planter over there looking pretty good let's give you a little treat a little taste of what we've got going on here and the front flowers they're coming up nice and uh, the apple tree showing a little bit of sign of blight so I'm gonna have to spray it uh, the odd thing is I didn't have any blossoms this year not a single one so I'm not sure what's up with that but uh, definitely spray it for blight and uh, hopefully I'll get that under control I'm pretty sure I showed this spruce tree last year it was Charlie Brown it was one that I had moved um, and as you can see the difference in the the needles 
and the light green is new growth this year like this tree is just exploding with new growth um, after the last couple of years of nothing you can see how sad it looks in places but uh, if you look at the new growth um, it's pretty impressive I'm pretty impressed there's so much on the top the top fits lean it <laughs> it's truly a unique spruce tree no doubt about that one of the other things too cut up uh, or chopped up a bunch of the hostas plants and just kind of put them all up in a line there along the yard and you can see all these trees here are doing really well that dog's still digging in the hole hmm. anyways everybody uh, this pretty much does it for this video um, hope uh, you're having good weather it's not too dry not too hot not too wet hopefully it's just perfect um, today's first day of summer uh, it's nice it's kind of humid it's about 25 with the, the humidity but um, I'm sure you've heard the wind it's uh, it's a really stiff breeze so it's it's comfortable black flies are coming out like mad right shout out to all my subscribers cheers everyone hope you're having a great week and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you just happen to stumble here and find yourself watching this crazy fuller drinking a beer and walking around his yard um, hit the subscribe button uh, and come along for the ride all right folks black flies are driving me nuts i don't know if the camera's picking them up or not but they're getting pretty crazy out here so i gotta run cheers everyone hope you're having a great week 17 until next time be happy.